What's up, y'all? Hope y'all doing well. We are back on world. Just out here, just cruising in the Toyota 86. And honestly, I don't really have much planned. I just kind of just wanted to build a car, drive around with it for a little bit, and see how it goes. Alright, so time to pick a car. Man, we got. So I guess my one rule is to pick a car that's stock so I can actually customize it. And I'm gonna be picking a car from the sales because of the fact that. Man, I I'm a cheapskate <laughs> when it comes to this game, so. I always try to look for good deals. And man, this. This looks fire. Yeah, this is pretty dope. Those Audi A1s. Oh, this one's actually fire too. This is Cross M3. I definitely would buy that, but I already have one. Ooh, now this is something different. Don't really drive convertibles on this game. The Berlin Meta. Seems like these are all like pre sick, but we have to stoke. Rest in peace to that car, man. Like, it looks like we don't really have that much inter anything interesting for this sale week. Oh, that's a nice preset, though. We got in Porsches. Oh, we have a GT. I just bought a GT3 3.8. Literally a week, a week ago, a week and a half ago. We got the Cayman. Huh. You know, I was actually leaning towards either the Cayman or the Stoke. I think I'm gonna go with the Cayman because I don't really see any around. See, does, does this one come with better parts? I will pay that parts premium. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Cayman. Now the first thing we gotta do is change this color. I'm not sure if I feel the yellow. I used to like yellow cars when I was younger, however, now that's not really a thing no more. So let's pick something of color, not any neutrals. I know my channel colors are kind of neutral. I mean, mix and my favorite color is gray. However, I do want something else. Let's try with a different color too, because I'm always using these shinier sheens. So let's do a Honestly, yeah, let's do this purple. And then for the rims, for the rims we can do like something like gunmetal. I think a gunmetal finish would be cool. Okay, so we got the paint done. Now time for the parts. All right, so. We put put that can you either make it look extravagant or more like OEM plus this looks to be a new body kit interesting these from carbon I'm not, I'm not sure what new speed games this car was in this one makes it look this one literally makes it look more like a 911. Devil. Is this the IGC body kit? It honestly looks kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe that exhaust looks a little off, but what do you expect? It's like the 2010s. Uh, it's actually the same one, so I'm like, I'm literally, what am I, what am I even saying, man? I think this might be it. No joke. And then for spoiler, 
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's the spoiler right there. Now the hoods. I am definitely not putting on a special hood. Now for the rims. Ooh, I'm thinking of something honestly very simple. Five spoke, six spoke wheels. I'll probably end up picking like a seven, eight spoke wheel as I'm saying that. Oh. The 18s look nicer on that. Wait, hold up. This actually. This actually looks kind of nice. It's like a street racer type of vibe. Oh man. I think that, that one works out pretty well. No neon. Not a neon guy. Interesting. The black tint. Now, do we do stage 2 or stage 1? Let's go stage two, just cause we got that street racing vibe to it. Now obviously for license plates, we are going for the classic. So we'll buy this car up. And now for the performance. Hmm, probably gonna keep this at B class. I don't have the tuning guide on me right now, so I am just going to just put some random stuff on. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're just going to be putting on all blue parts. Why blue parts? I don't know. We had that switch to what we are picking. It looks like this thing can get the B-class pretty well, so looks like we don't have to do much. Should I put G? G. What? Let me just go for classic G G G R R R. <laughs> Why not? Honestly. And so the car is at five seventeen. So time to put some cheap parts. So you gotta put the brakes. You gotta put the induction. That, that don't make much of a difference. What's the next cheapest? I think it's suspension. Oh man, it looks like we had to put some put some elite parts on this thing. Elite street parts, that is. Actually, are we gonna do elite street part this whole thing? Interesting. Uh, not quite, but. Do we need to put on a oh, whole man 600? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, so we got this thing 599. Man, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so since we're probably gonna use this in races, just classic five star head, a uh, one star head starts. Call it a day. All right, we are driving the Cayman S, and it feels average. <laughs> nice hit. It feels pretty average. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's a average percent car. Nice. We got a. Porsche, the Porsche battle. Please hit that perfect start. Nice. Let's see how this thing fares against that 911. Pretty sure that 911, is that still a good car? I'm not too sure. But I remember when it first came out, it was broken. It steered horribly. Like, I mean, it didn't, yeah, it did steer horribly, but it was OP. And what was that like? Two, three years ago. It's wild. Oh man, that traffic really getting me. Oh, looks like you got the top speed. Unless if my crash affected that. Let's see what this thing tops out to. No, the 911 still has a pretty decent. Oh man. 
Okay, this thing is not spectacular in the turns. Well, with swerving around. It's just good enough. This is definitely not the worst car, but it's, this is such an average feeling car. Obviously, I got this thing tuned so randomly, so that does play a factor into it. Oh, man. But you really can't take no tight turns like it's an Elise or something. Something like that, you know? And this traffic car ruining my line. This time, let's not hit any of those traffic cars. Capsule 188. I feel like that's not impressive at all. That being said, I don't know what the power... Power creeping stats or power got downgraded and I'm so out of the loop. Why is my man hitting me with traffic magnet this late in the race? Alright, this Pretty remarkable. I was not expecting a win with this thing. We have a hundred percent win rate right now, which is pretty cool. That must be a horrible time. One thing to note is that make sure to What's this event thing? Interesting. <laughs> Make sure to, you know, always get your cleaner achievements, especially your weeklies, because they do pay out pretty nice. We are now in our second race. Nice coming start. We are up against a Ferrari California. Now, I don't know if the meta changed because I did have a California a little while back at 599. No, it wasn't at 599. No, actually I did have it at 599. However, I mainly drove it at A class. I'm not sure if it was for A class or B class, but that car is was a meta. I don't know what happened to it. However, this came in right here. It's not being smoked so far. So that's that's a good sign. Dang, of course I still have the signs. Oh man, this is like such unfamiliar territory. I haven't. This reminds me of Rosewood. No, was it Rosewood and uh, Man? I can't believe I forgot it, but it's such an iconic track. Shout out to RLC. Right, 
Please don't hit the toe boots. As I said, that actually low, low key, I probably needed that because I was not looking at the map, and I would have gone straight flying and needed some breathing. Oh man, hard turns. It's not the hardest turn, however, it's just... I'm just not comfortable with the car. That being said, the car is not terrible. It's actually far from that. It's just the fact that I don't know its limits. Like, I don't know its limits, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Just understeered massively over there. And it really wasn't an understeer because of the car, it was understeer because of me. So I'm really just trying to make sure I don't mess up these lines. That Ferrari got pace though. Even though the Ferrari got pace, for sure, if there was a better driver, it wouldn't be a much of an issue. Okay, so it seems like, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Every car on off-road, it gets a little weird, but, you know, this thing definitely wants to understeer sometimes. Not really. It's actually quite a response and it has decent enough turning radius. However, my breaking points just aren't great. Oh, man, that Ferrari got power, though. That Ferrari has power, and I understeered GG to me. Oh, man. Ooh, this one's gonna be tight. Wow. <laughs> GG, man. What's the top speed on that thing? 194. Wow. Okay, so I, I knew this car was lacking in top speed. Or will this stay in my garage? It probably will. My final verdict is that from the two races I had it in, it has a 100% win rate. And this is the only car in my garage with a 100% win rate. <laughs> and obviously, you know, if you tune it right, this is a really nice car. This is very surprising. I expected it to not be this well, especially from its history when it first came out. It was just such a slow car, it was so heavy and stuff, and now driving it like this, where it has corners, it's just a nice car to drive. And honestly, pick it up on sale, because you really got nothing to lose. It's only in 640k. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And if you got any car suggestions, let me know.